What's up guys, I am glad to welcome you all in new Adobe Illustrator series 1. This is the day 1 series in which we talk about the vector, vector and rasterize and some basic interface about Adobe Illustrator. So what is the Adobe Illustrator software you know about? Basically Illustrator is the best known and most used vector drawing program on earth and possibly other planets we are not aware of it. It is used to create logos, packaging, print work, web graphics, maps, singing and really any type of graphic art that you can think of it. Vector based art is recognized by its smooth, clean, crisp lines and many more. So you can add texture to rough it up or to bit too. The first version of Illustrator was shipped out in 1987 and was initially only available for Mac but now thinking about the generation this is came with the Windows XP then Windows 10 if you don't already have a copy of the software you can download a 4 week trial version for free from the site we are going to read about the what is vector and versus pixels so all computer images are either pixel based as in photos from your camera and or pictures that you work with work in photoshop or vector based pixel based images are made of tiny blocks of colors pixels created at a certain resolution a specific number of pixels per inch the resolution for an image that's designed for professional printing for professional printing printing is usually set to 300 pixels per inch the resolution for an image created for the screen is usually set to 72 ppi ppi means pixel based a much low, lower resolution that for print when you enlarge a raster image those tiny blocks of colors start to look jagged around the edges and you lose the nice smooth edges the result is what designers refer to as a pixelated images. A vector image is a mathematical description of shapes, fill, colors, strokes, gradients and blends. And while that might sound a bit scary, if you are not into maths, you don't have to worry about the, that stuff at all. Even though Illustrator is a primarily a vector application, you can combine both vector and raster elements in your projects. If if necessary you you could for example bring an, an image from the photoshop or another program and add it to the design or artwork or artboard that you are creating in illustrator the image on the left side of the artwork or artboard the image on the right side is a rasterize image both have been magnified notice how to rest a file looks where jugged or pixelated around the edges now we are going to start uh, Adobe Illustrator. In this, you have to learn how to set up a new document destined for print in Illustrator. If you have already been using Illustrator, you will see a list of files you have worked on most recently. If you have not used Illustrator before, this is area will be blank. To create a new document, you can either click on File, New, or you can click on the New button on the left side of the page. Either way you will see the same new document dialog box. In the new document dialog box shown below make the following settings. You can name the document but note this does not have to save the file. Some, fi some people will leave this and untitled as the remainder to save it later. Choose the new document profile called print. This automatically sets the option shown below with a letter size board, CMYK, color mode and high resolution rasters effect. The letter size is a standard American size but you can change yours to A4 which is the near equivalent size used by countries using the metric system. Set the number of artboards to 1. Artboards are like the drawing boards. A single document can have multiple artboards. We will talk about them in more detail later. You can choose portrait or landscape by clicking on the small icons beside the orientation label. You can add a bleed to your document if it is required. By typing a value in the bleed field by default, 
they are set to be whatever value you can type into the first blade top so when you type in the number in the top the others will fill in automatically click ok a blank document window opens ready for work creative or magic okay so now you have a document open you can start to play i suggest tra trying out the paint brush tool the pencil tool they probably the easiest ones to get going and will we will discuss them in more detail further down in the next lesson we will look at the illustrator interface and work <laughs>